Hi everybody, uh, my name is Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what we're going to do is to take a look at how a retrograde works. I'm going to show you some examples of retrogrades and what they do. And then I've made a, a mechan <laughs> sort of a mechanical demonstration using popsicle sticks and cardboard and plywood and put something together that will and rubber bands instead of springs so that'll put a little demonstration together for you to show you how they work uh and it, to me it's a very interesting and ingenious way that watchmakers have come up with retrogrades so without further ado let's get started Hi, today I want to talk about uh, retrogrades. Uh, first of all, uh, this particular watch see, has double uh, retrogrades. You can see on the left how the second hand uh, goes down then pops back up to the top. On the other side, it has the days of the week. And by pushing this button right here, it goes up and then it goes down. Both of those are uh, types of retrogrades. Um, this watch has, I think it's about a 240 or more uh, degrees around here. And this one will go up here, and then when it gets here, and then it goes all the way back here. Let me show you how this works. Put it up here like this. And it looks like it goes to the, it goes back and around. Okay goes around that way rather than forward and now this one is also a retrograde and one of the things that you can do with a retrograde it takes up just a little part of the watch instead of having to use uh, a 360 degrees you can just use a portion of it and this one watch what happens here both the jumping hour here and here change when the when it goes back. Now watch this and get it right. Okay, and then this is, this looks like it goes here, but it didn't, it went around here. That's the nature of a retrograde. Okay, now what I wanna do is to show how the retrograde works on the inside, and uh, I'll be doing that next. A retrograde watch is one of the one of the main ways, and to me it's one of the most ingenious ways that a retrograde works, is with something that's called, this is called a, a snail shape. And there's a cam called a snail cam, and this is what it looks like. And using my <laughs> less than optical, optimum uh, building skills, I put together essentially how it works. Now this, what this one will do here as the sna snail cam moves, let me see if I can move this with having it work right. Let me see. As I move it, now watch the top, how the the uh, popsicle stick hand is moving and moving and moving. Let me see, get it going here. And then come back here. And then boom, it pops back. That's essentially how a uh, how a retrograde works, and there are a lot of different uses. And three of the ones I showed you in watches are yeah, typical of of a of a retrograde in horology. And now, after you've seen this mechanical <laughs> with popsicle sticks and rubber bands and cardboard and wood, how they really work. Well, that'll give you some sense of uh, how retrogrades work, and or at least one method for them. I'm sure there are other kinds of techniques. I like the uh, use of the snail cam because I, I find it very ingenious, and usually the the simplest solution uh, is is always the best one, and and indeed it's the most ingenious. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. If you have a retrograde, I'd like to know what you, which one you have and uh, how it's used. And um, 
Uh, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watts Collection.